purchasing the TP-Link HS210 Smart Wi-Fi Light Switch 3-Way Kit. In this video, I will take you through the steps to install the HS210. This smart switch works with all standard 3-Way light switches, where two switches control the same light or series of lights. This configuration is often found in hallways, stairways, or rooms with multiple entry points. If you're familiar with basic electrical wiring installation, this will only take a few minutes. If you're not, do not attempt installation yourself. Instead, contact a licensed electrician for assistance. Ready? Let's get started. Before we begin, you'll need a secured 2.4 GHz home Wi-Fi network. For the installation, you'll need a screwdriver, wire stripper, and a non-contact voltage detector. Download the CASA app on your Android or iOS device. Open the CASA app and tap the plus symbol to add a new device. Choose two location kit. Next, detach the HS210 faceplates from the light switches. You will reattach them in the final step. Hold your smartphone up to your old switch. You should have a Wi-Fi signal of at least two bars. If signal is weak, you may need to find another location closer to your router or purchase a TP-Link range extender. When ready, click start. Turn off the power to the light switches with your circuit breaker. It's usually in your garage, but could also be located in a hallway or closet. Make sure the power is off by flipping the switches to make sure the lights don't turn off. Remove the faceplate by unscrewing the two screws holding it in place. pictured at right or detach the switch from the wall. Gently pull the switch out of the wall box. Using the non-contact voltage detector, make sure no power is going to the switch. Using the CASA app, indicate which color wires are attached to the old switch. Look for the neutral wire, which is normally white but could be another color. If no neutral wire is present, the HS210 cannot be installed. The neutral wire is typically found within the wall box with the wire nut on top of it. If no neutral wire is present, it's still possible that there may be one located in other three-way light switches in your home. Label the neutral wire with the supplied label. Carefully examine your old switch. One screw will be a different color, usually black. This is the common wire. Label the common wire with the line slash load label. The two remaining screws should be the same color. Apply the traveler label to these wires. The bare copper or green wire is your earth ground wire. Apply the ground label to this wire. If the ground wire isn't present, the HS210 can still be installed. Before you disconnect the wires, snap a picture of both switches wiring just in case you need to reference them later. Repeat this process for both switches. Disconnect all of the wires from both switches, making sure not to remove any of the labels. Use the wire labels to help you connect the wires to the connect screws. Give each wire a tug to make sure it is securely connected to the switch. Push all the wires back into the wall box and try to push them to the side to make room for the HS210. Set the HS210 in place. Line up the screws with the wall box and screw it in. Attach the face of the plate by pressing it onto the front of the HS210. If you choose to use your own faceplate, make sure not to use metallic ones as they can interfere with your Wi-Fi signal. Turn the power back on using your circuit breaker. Now you can use your CASA to configure the HS210 on your Android or iOS device. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your HS210.